just uh, let them black women down, <laughs> and I applaud him for it. I saw it coming three years ago. Though. I did, nigga. I knew when his shit blew up online, and nigga was talking about MCM. Why are you MCM and somebody else's husband, my nigga? Mm-hmm. We out here for the for the right. I, I knew Jesse Jackson was getting pussy. <laughs> Look, I had told chick the other day. She was like, "You think Obama got side bitches?" I said, "Would you fuck them?" Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. Martin Luther King exactly. Has side exactly. He got side bitches. I don't put it past nobody. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Look at all that power and responsibility you have, and you got everything. You got to be really disciplined. And you see how good of a father he is. A great father. You know how much pussy be coming at me because I'm a good husband, dog? A bunch. <laughs> a lot. A lot. Great I be ducking. Great, great statement. Wow. You, know you, gotta, you be having a duck pussy sometimes. Wow. Fuck you people at home talking about sometime. <laughs> no. oh, God. So, uh, you know, it, it brings me to the point where. <laughs> I mean, I was recording y'all, but you know. Let's do it. You wasn't. Oh, you wasn't. It was it. It's, a, it's a process. <laughs> 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 that was the best two minutes of this interview so far. It was good. You fucked it up. I mean, I ain't mad Jesse, Jesse let the women down, though. They pissed. Black woman was pissed at I got a partner in Houston. Absolutely. His motto is, let these bitches down one day at a time. Oh, that's <laughs> deep. You got to. Because when you deep. let the bar be too high, you leave no room for error. Jesus perfect. You don't even fuck with him every day. So what you think? <laughs> <laughs> you finna fuck with me. Ah. Ah. Oh, no. You in my face every day. You expect me to be good every day? I'm going to do it. Do that, it. that ain't what you want. I Billy, mean, Billy, who we got with us today, right. Billy? I mean, Javante has been here. I mean, I feel like she's been on the show before, even though she haven't. Mm-hmm. She's done sketches. She's an actress and danced and traveled around the world, told jokes. Man, you, you just just keep paying attention to your TV. Mm-hmm. She pops up. The niggas mm-hmm. everywhere. Now she don't talk to you all the time. Don't think because you right here with her right now, yeah, you gonna get some talk. If it's a nigga with dreads around, you out of there. Oh. <laughs> hey, wow. If it's a nigga with dreads we around, doing that? We're doing that if right it's now? a nigga with dreads okay. around, right. you won't you you, oh. you you won't get talked to. It's over. Just be prepared. It ain't that she don't fuck with you. You not able to talk that day. He done put a, a one dick minimum in her life. It's like <laughs> one dick maximum. Whoa. Minimum maximum. You don't think you're gonna get some conversation. It happen. <laughs> Okay, where you at? BT Awards, good fuck. Who around? <laughs> if you only hey, getting specific. Certain, <laughs> certain that we keep it real on the show. I ain't shit. She can go ahead and tell you that. She can attest I ain't shit. But my point to you is, don't think because y'all sitting right here that it's everyday conversation. You you go now uh, off Tuesday, <laughs> and Friday, mm-hmm. you might get some response. The thing is, they for to come to you every week. You ain't gonna be there having like that. I mean, it it it's almost an in, in, uh, indicative statement to say that pretty women really never get married. What? Mm. Now you took it there, Billy. I did take it there. Yeah, you took it because because it was a pretty woman at the altar, Billy. You took it there. It's a pretty woman at the altar. She crying her eyes out because mm. her groom refused to show up. Beautiful woman. Sitting at the altar crying. Mm. Pastor said, dry your eyes, girl. You ain't got nothing to cry about. She's sitting there crying her eyes out, D-Lay. This woman is here dressed to the nines. Whole family there. His family there. He ain't there. This is embarrassing. She done turned down some some possible suitors who would want to be in her life. Absolutely. For this dude. Mm. <laughs> you know what that means? It means I have you here. Fuck you. It's somebody better. Mm. That's deep. That's very deep. Because when you ask a woman that, you like, nigga, forever. That's like, you mean I could never be the person that uh-uh. you want to be with? That's why I, when I've asked a woman to marry me and she told me no, no get back. Ain't no running back no time ever. Mm-mm. Yeah. Get away from that thing. woman told you no. To, told me no delay. To my face. To my face. In the middle of the restaurant. You proposed. <laughs> proposed. What restaurant were you in when she shitted on you? <laughs> it's bittersweet, Papa, though. Uh, had him bring out that crab cake. Brought that out first. She has no idea what's about to happen. Man, let me tell you something. I literally had went through my phone and started deleting numbers. This was the, this was the delete of 2007. This is big. Seven. Okay. When niggas delete numbers, they serious about it. 
Okay. Delete. I don't even want them temptations. I haven't deleted a phone number since 07. It's, it's, it's 17 now. That's 10 years. Yeah. I ain't, I've been on the strong. I didn't get through all of them, but the ones that I had tried, a problem with, tried, had to delete them things. I'm strong. Had to delete them. I'm in the middle of that restaurant. I done made sure she was off her phone the whole day. I said, hey, can we just have a day where we don't have our phones on? I go on Facebook. Today is the day I become a man. Oh, Today is the day. publicizing it. Today is the day. He doesn't day. know what she's going to do. <laughs> Today okay. is the day that I ask the woman that I love and been in love with for the past X amount of years to be with me. I'm afraid. I'm nervous. I'm scared. But I'm in love. We'll report to you later. <laughs> dot, 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 post, share. Yeah, that happened. That part. It's back there somewhere. Oh, here we go. Got a short. I like that dramatic. I, I like that dramatic light drop down. It was. like It was the perfect time, too. So, uh, we didn't lose power on the recording, did we? We good still. Oh, we still here. So restaurant. <laughs> don't get on your phone. Dot 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 on Facebook. Sin. So sin. How many Facebook friends do you have? At, at the time? time, I got five thousand. I'm at the maxed out. Okay. I'm maxed out. Maxed. You, maxed. you can tell five thousand people this. And this is Facebook in two thousand and seven. Early oh, Facebook. It's early. on motherfucking fire. Mm -hmm. Go get your bride. Go chase your destiny. I do that. Tell the waiter, I said, hey, man, look, I want you to go to the back, put this cake back here. I want to bring this cake out. I got champagne I want to get. Can you give me a bottle of champagne? He said, yeah, when you want me to bring it? I said, bring it when you see the tears come down. <laughs> oh, this is going to be big. <laughs> so you don't want to miss this, folks. <laughs> I'm in that restaurant, that Papa Doe, people coming up. What's up, man? I see you with your woman, man. Y'all looking good today, man. Man, good to see you. I'm like, man, what's up? It's a beautiful day. This day gonna change our life. She, let me get the seafood platter. Oh. Yeah, steady, not, no clue. So we get through the end of dinner and he asks, is it okay if I bring the check over? I said, yeah. I said, uh, I'm gonna be the last nigga buying her food. Look right at her. I said, hey, look, I wanna be the last dude to ever buy you anything. I wanna be the last man that you wake up with, the last man you go home with. This is deep. I want to be mm -hmm. the last man that you share a bed with. I want you to bury me. Make sure my friends and family come. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Because I'm done. I done had it all. I done done it all. Did that. And there's nothing else left to do. But spend the rest of my life learning who you are. Mm -hmm. Or trading his life for. Trading my Absolutely. life. Yeah, right. For you. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm willing to I do get it. down on that knee in the middle of the restaurant. How many people in there? It's, oh, it's on fire. It's, oh, it's on fire. <laughs> it's Friday night. Oh, this, this shit is coming full speed. This shit back. And you know, you, and you know, I'm speed. doing comedy, so. Oh, uh, people know you. Some of the people never know you. Hey, excuse me. Just want to let y'all know. Oh, he announced shit. That I want you to spend the rest of your life with me. Will you marry me? Nigga, everybody. Way to walk him out, he just stop, and time just freezes. Ain't no food hitting the table, everybody just like. She was like, oh, oh, starts crying. Everybody starts clapping. Everybody else think they hear, yeah, <laughs> I will. We over there, she ain't said yeah. That's so I done got the ring and tried to slide it on her hand. You on your knee? I'm on that knee. I slid it on that hand. Now, are you wearing yes. socks or not? No, I got. Hey. This is important. Are you wearing yeah. socks? I got socks. You do have on socks? I got on socks. That's okay, cool. So I got. There's no statistics about men wearing socks that propose, but go ahead. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm out there, man. She didn't slid this ring on. She sits back up in the chair at the table. We sitting there. She started looking at the ring. Boy, it's coming up, man. man congratulations, man. That's beautiful. What happened to you and your lady, man? Me and my old lady, we couldn't do but all that. She never said, yeah. She never said, yeah. Okay. Mm. She looks at me. I see her. She done took the ring off at the table. She looking at it like this. She says, I don't know if I'm ready yet. I love you, but I don't think I can do it. Tears coming down. 
Guess who shows up? Champagne. Pop, pop, pop. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> not now. Like, why now, nigga? <laughs> Hey, congratulations on you guys' celebration. Now, he want to talk for the extra tip because he pretty much figured proposal is $100. Easy. Easy. I'm fucked up. I'm crying. Well, he, he don't know but a turn down proposal. But why? Nigga, I don't, none of that. We get out of there. I pay that check. I write that boy a tip for $125. I get to that car because I'm trying to get the fuck about that restaurant. I get in that parking lot. We sit there for about 10 minutes. She just crying. I'm crying. And I, I don't know what to say. Drive home, nigga. I'm fucked up. And that is what brings me to the story of why women get left at the altar. The pretty women never get married. Because them pretty women be there some days. And whatever they hold on to, whatever they option they think they have, they too pretty to realize they don't have it. The same pretty woman was sitting at the altar waiting for somebody. Ended up going to the bachelor party realizing that she didn't have nobody. The reception at the bachelor party. Bachelor mm-hmm. party the night before. Reception. Yeah. Reception. Realized she didn't have nobody. Nobody. Got drove home with her friends. And her friends was like, girl, you look fucked up. You want to get something to eat or something? They stop at a little restaurant. Jack in the box. Grab a quick burger. Go through the line. Order their food. They come out. And who do they see? Drunk in the motherfucker. Mm. In his tux. The mm. goddamn girl. He walk out. Two white bitches on his arm. Mm, Stunting, too. Walking to that car. You know that door you go out right in front of the drive through mm-hmm. He looked dead in the window at the bride, the bride and her best friend. They looking like, nigga, you ain't shit. He caught eyes with her and he looked her dead in the face and said, Did you miss me? Oh, Woo! Uh, oh, oh you, you really feel that way? I, I just feel like. And this is based on your other your interactions. And, and I'm just specifically industry based. I feel like. You know, with what with where were you social media? Where were you when you realized that he, the dude that you was talking to? Oh, that specific guy. That wasn't the guy, but the specific guy. He um, creates clothing. He's a an stylist and sign fashion one. designer. That's a sign one, right? <laughs> but he also was um, uh, in in sports, like professionally. So <laughs> <laughs> two. Keep going. And the third thing was that I feel like if you are not an R&B singer, there's no reason why you should be like smizing and singing like in any of your like any video. Any of like... <laughs> Check your thing. But there are straight guys that do that. They just be like all in the. And I don't want to see that. It's one thing if you're listening to a record or Kendrick or whatever, and it just came out in your height. But if you're doing the most, like what we do as a, like a woman, like when I'm in the, you know, like if, unless you're an actor. Or, or for a specific thing like what we do as comedy and, and all that stuff, if you're a man, th- there's no reason why you should be uh, smizing. In your yeah, I don't, like, I don't like niggas that do this either. It's something about, it's, I really, I really <laughs> don't like this. I don't, even like, before it gets I don't even like niggas to look at me. Like, I don't even know what this is about. I don't know. I guess it's, like, I, I mean, that? we know what it is. It's a, I'm being sexy. I feel sexy. I don't do shit. I've never done so that. So you've never been in your, your snap or your Instagram? First of all, life. real niggas don't ever hold their phone above their head. <laughs> it's never above. Whenever you get up here, you question your manhood, fam. You got to keep that motherfucker right here low, low right. angle. Like, hey, bitch, I really ain't paying attention to this camera right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? You see what's happening. Yeah. You see these kids in this back seat, in this car seat. You see what type that. of life I'm living. <laughs> you see my family, dog. You see my responsibility <laughs> level. You see, but the, you see the family is usually like a cover up too. Like the, so the story you, is. Have so, you given up on men? Have you given up? I mean, you know, have that happened to you? Uh, like that is well. Uh, the thing is, well, it it it's questionable. Like I don't know if this particular person. So I was dating this particular person, and name? I I'm not giving names. Give me what a, does he do? Just, just give me a name for the story. You who he That's the dude that do the thing. Dude, the mm. dude thing. And um, so basically, we were dating for um, off and on for a couple months. I left. I went on tour. I came back. Who was your tour with? Uh, I think IOJ at the time, the Afrobeat, our Afro artist, African. Um, came back, and we were spending more time together. So I kind of got to, you know, see his ins, ins and outs and like his mannerisms. And initially, like, I felt like he was very, like, masculine. And then through the course of, like, us dating and really getting to know each other, he would do some, like, real suspect shit. Start leaking this so, bitch. Yeah. So I'm like, wait, hold on. bitch right. started leaking. <laughs> This Wait a minute. Bitch started leaking. The bitch started leaking. And I just, 
So eventually, um, I just kind of let it sizzle. Like, it's just, we're just not meant to be. I don't, I, I like men that are masculine. I like men that um, take initiative, take charge. And in his particular case, he didn't do so. And it, I, I felt like the man. And so... Um, he was taking out the trash or you was taking out the trash? I was taking out the trash and also he Did was still doing the Snapchat Did you pump your own gas? Shit. He was doing the Snapchat with the eyes. It was the... It was... That, that's what... Like, did you, you pump your own gas? Yes, I did. God uh, damn. damn. That's two... I, listen, let me tell you two. That's a couple of things you should never do. If you tired of niggas letting you take the trash... Uh, yeah, give it to them. If you tired Man, they pumping out there. your own gas... Stop it. Call us over here at 323 right. 985 It's right at the bottom. We'll get somebody over there to you. We'll get them we'll there. We'll get somebody over there to you. They on the way. Yeah, so I'm at a point now where I just feel like men don't take they don't take initiative. I feel like there aren't many men's men's out here, like man's and man's and man's and them out here in LA. And I feel like because Everyone's so vain. It's like all about themselves, and I don't, I don't interact with men that you know the the traditional man that wants to court, that wants, that wants to take to, you out, that wants to pay your light bill. It's not even about light pass. bill. It's just like which bill? Which basic bill? Basic fucking minimum, like okay. dinner. That you court pe- court women. Like people are men and, and people in our culture. We're all so into ourselves. Like we feel like we deserve everything. But I feel like if you if you are contributing to the relationship. As a woman, because sometimes we walk around here feeling like, you know, our shit don't stink. What are we bringing to the table? So right. I understand that as well. But, <laughs> but, but I feel like we should be courted. You know what I mean? You're so. absolutely right. But here's the problem. Women are making things different for women, traditional women like yourself, because Pussy is coming fast. I understand that. <laughs> you know, they say life's gonna make you fast, pussy come at and you real fast. Just as fast. It absolutely does. But what I'm saying is you got a, a, a wave of guys that are, are meeting these type of women, and then they get a steady diet of these women. Yes, you can't group all women. I totally agree. But when you get used to a certain thing, they kind of become accustomed to that and they don't want to do the traditional thing. I totally agree with what you're coming from. Where you coming so from? So you like, don't you're not traditional. Oh, I am totally traditional. I I, I so can you play court both roles. Women. Yes. If I would go both but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to tell you something to make you feel good in the moment. I'm going to tell you that a, you're not going to be ready for my truth. It's going to be hot. I'm ready. It's gonna, that shit going to come fast. Give us some hot truth, D-Lay. Some go- real shit about you right now. We're dating. I'm going to have sex with other people. Really? Absolutely. When you're dating. <laughs> if you're like just like casually dating or dating dating. like I, But I'm going to let you know both stages. Which, whichever stage we're in, but I'm gonna be honest with you through the whole thing. It's not like I'm gonna just hey, listen, guess what? I know we're having sex, but I'm not. No, it's not gonna. Just, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna spring it upon you. You're gonna know through our conversation. Hey, where we lie? This is what it right. is. It's open. It's never gonna be blindsided. It just sounded like that when I said it. But once. But not men. Not all men are like you. You know. Oh, I know. I know. And if you're looking for a man like me, call three two three three eight five three eight five nine seven three four. Nine, seven, three, four. We'll get somebody over here to you. Oh, I promise we'll get somebody over to you. Oh, oh. don't you? Oh, there's a cock on the way, people. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. Hey, listen. Hey, who we listen. got on the phone with? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Lonnie Boudreaux, how you doing? Lonnie, listen, man. This hey. Is, this is Bobby calling you from over there, man. I, I, I just want to let you know, man, we got a lady who needs some stuff from you. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name? Talk to me, young lady. Talk to me. What's your name first? What's your name? I'm Jen. <laughs> Jen? <laughs> Jen from, from where? Jen from Chi Town. Ch- from the West Side? Yeah, from the West Hell Side. Hell, I know Jen! Hell, I know her! Jen? <laughs> yeah. What's, what's, Hell, what's I need to say name? something! What's your daddy's name? What's your, my, what's your my, daddy's name? My daddy's name is Ben. <laughs> You're talking about Ben? Big Ben? You're talking about Big Ben? With the Afro? So much with the Afro? <laughs> yeah. Hell, I know Big Ben! Hell, I went to school with Big Ben. How is yes, he? he is Tell fine. him to call me. Yes. Lonnie Boudreau, ask him about me. How Big you, time attorney. How do you know him? Hell, I, hell, he ran a shop down there on the corner of Western. Oh, really? Western, and I had one of the most Western. beautiful wives. Hell, his wife. Hell, you know, his wife made the best shepherd's pie you know I his ever wife? seen in the county. You know his wife? Hell, I know his wife. How you know his wife? Hell, I used to sleep with his wife. Oh, God. Oh, God. And I was the attorney that got me off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
You hear me? I got me off. Jesus Christ. The judge's name was Wapner. Hell, I know Wapner. <laughs> you remember Wapner? Yeah, I remember Wapner. Wap Wapner had a wife. His wife's name was, listen to me. I can't make it up. Hell, her name was her name. God damn, I, that twist is just getting too much. Wendy, her name was Wendy. Wendy was her name. Hell, I know Wendy. Wendy. I know Wendy. Then I know Wendy. Yes. Hell, then, I'm so glad you came by the set today. Hell, yes. I didn't Boudreaux misses you. Yes. Hell, I remember you. Yes. You're a dancer. I am All a dancer. over the world. Yes, <laughs> over at the Tootsies. You went to the, hell, yes. I remember Tootsies. Tootsies. Was going to buy it. Yes. Turned into the gourmet shop. Yes. Boss let it burn down, got the insurance money. Let it. Lonnie Boudreaux fixed that case too. Absolutely. Homer lose that. Attorney Lonnie Boudreaux checking in. Let me tell you what I did. It's a form, I guess it's a form of cocaine. Uh, ecstasy. Oh, it's cocaine in that. Gotcha. Name yeah, another pill. Uh, that's all I took. That's that's all I took. <laughs> Just name another one, though. This nigga got a trade. That's all you took? Nigga, name something else. Because I got a trophy full of shit. That I did. Molly got, got cocaine Hold in that. Molly. You took Molly or you took ecstasy? Two. I took both of them. But, but let me get to the ecstasy Oh, you first. definitely got some crack in you. It made me cheat. I'm going to put it on the ecstasy first. I cheated because I wouldn't have done this in my right mind. I go to the casino. You in the casino, D-Lay. It's something I, I, about that. I'm in Vegas. I'm motherfucking wild. <laughs> I'm in these goddamn streets. Doing the fuck I want to do. Yeah. Comp rooms and Damn everything. Damn my ass off. And I don't play no motherfucking $20. I'm in that bitch going for, I want the goddamn cage. Goddamn. <laughs> Give me the goddamn casino cage. I play for that. Some of these niggas, I just win the $300. Get your bitch ass out of these white folks' casino. I want the goddamn, I want a part of the goddamn casino. That's how I gamble. <laughs> you got a problem, bro. So, I mean, That's I too. Problem. Oh, I had a dangerous problem. We'll get to the problem. Oh, we gotta tell me, we'll, we'll get to the problem. So, I'm in there and I go down, I'm like down 2000 so I'm pressing hard. Wait, wait, nigga. You down 2,000 American dollars? U.S. dollars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gambling. You got to keep in mind, I'm a blackjack dealer already. I hear you. And I got my VIP company. So I got money. I got money in this bitch at this time. At this time. Delay, I'm with you, bro. I'm in there. I said, I'm going to just press hard because I ain't got time to be in here all day. My homeboy is waiting on me at the strip club. I don't even want to fuck with strip clubs like this. So I start pressing, pressing, winning, winning, winning. I get up twenty thousand dollars. Wait, wait, wait! You get up twenty. You get up twenty. I'm up twenty racks, and you don't walk out the club. I get my money, go to the cage, get my twenty bands. I got my twenty on me. Call my fellas. Hey man, on my way to the club. Now I got one of my friends is a pimp. But um, all of us are doing something illegal. <laughs> but it's our crew. But we, you know, we 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 cool. Small crew, we cool. We yeah. get there. You do that, nobody go to jail. Nobody go to jail. Nobody go to jail. So we in the strip club, and I'm like, uh, I'm in that room just drinking and looking at ass. I don't really want to feel I'm one of them niggas that are like, nigga, I can get her without. If she wasn't in this bitch, I get, I'm that nigga. If she would, if, if this motherfucker was in the mall, I'd get her. Just because she on that pole, I can't say shit to her. I'm like, I'm that dude, but I still give you a couple of dollars. Right? Pimp friend said, AD, you come back from the bathroom, I got something for you. All right, nigga, whatever. I go to the bathroom, come back. He got this bad ass Asian chick with him. I got a girl. She I see with, the Asian is she, chick. Is she with you or is she, she not My there? My girl's not there. Okay. She, she in the world. She not there. See the chick. I'm like, God damn, this bitch is bad. And let me tell you what it felt like. It felt like it was the devil saying, I got one of my bitches, nigga. You can't turn down. <laughs> I'm gonna see how godly you are, and I'm about to put one of my bad bitches. Is the what now? Where does the narcotic in your sense system? It ain't there yet? I don't even know nothing about the drug. So you already on edge without the narcotic? I'm just drinking liquor, and I'm elated because I got twenty bands in my motherfucking pocket. All courtesy of motherfucking casino. Oh man! So I'm living life, nigga. This this can't be a good story. To Look end how I'm leaning right now. This can't end good. It won't. This can't. I said. How you doing? She introduced herself. I'm like, wow, okay, cool. She said, hey, let's go to the VIP room. I said, hold on, boo boo. Don't even roll like that. Don't even get down with the VIP room. She said, I don't want you to pay nothing. I just want to come to the VIP. I want to talk to you. I'm like, okay, cool. We go in there. I ain't told, she don't know what I got in my pocket. 
I'm really flexing. When you got the money in the strip club, you, you got that a nigga. When you know you got the money, when you know you got enough to just blow, you can talk to the bitch. Bitch, what? What? <laughs> Ask me. What? <laughs> you could be that nigga in the club, right? So I ain't that dude. I'm just, I'm like, let's see what's conversation. We talking, we laughing and talking. She was like, what do you do? I was like, you know, I'm a, I'm a comedian. She said, oh, you're a comedian? Yeah, yeah. And I'm a blackjack dealer. You're a blackjack dealer? Yeah. Was so we talking. She said, you know what? Yeah. Let's get out of here. I was like, where you want to go? She was like, let's go to such and such casino. It was the same casino I just finished God gambling at. damn. I said, you know what? Yeah, let's go back. Oh, ah, like God. She said, "Listen, we gotta stop by my house. Fuck. I want to get. I'm gonna just go change. I'm gonna get a couple of things. And listen, how about let's just make this a night? Let's just kick it all night." I was like, "Cool. I'll just get a room at that casino. I just slapped them, knocked them motherfuckers across the head for twenty bands. They can give me a suite." So I called the motherfuckers. Like, "Hey, y'all want your money back? Yeah, I need a suite. Yeah, I give y'all a chance to get it back. Yeah, put that suite out there." Yeah, put some champagne in that motherfucker. Yeah, I'm wildin'. <laughs> it's me, the young nigga that was on the table earlier. They got y'all for that hot 20. Now keep in mind, it's a casino. They ain't tripping on 20. Not Vegas casino. They ain't, they ain't tripping on that. But I'm flexing on them. Hi, uh, D, uh, Mr. D, we, we've got your suite. And uh, I said two bottles of, I had two bottles of Cristal in that bitch. When I, I'm, finna, I'm finna shine. Delay. I'm about to show this goddamn stripper. Bitch. You know what's fucked up? Good time. I, I can't even take this story because I'm living this with you right now. And I'm, oh, I'm, yes. I want a time machine I, to listen, go back to tell you not to go in you, there. I, I need you, nigga. I need you. Shit. So I said, man, this is what I'm going to do. I said, listen, let's go have a little dinner. We sitting talking shit. She said, you ever did X? And I was like, fuck. Nah. Sound like a good time. She was like, I'm telling you, it's the best time of your life. And I was like, I'm already having a motherfucking blast. <laughs> so whatever this is. go here, bitch? <laughs> Let's I go. I was like, where is that? This bitch pulled out a bucket full of the motherfuckers. This motherfucker, <laughs> pocket full, a purse full of these motherfuckers. I was like, you manufacture these motherfuckers, bitch? She said, here. It's going to kick in a little later. You'll you know what I mean. I'm like, All right, cool. I get it. I ordered steak. She ordered her shit. Champagne again. I'm not paying for this meal. Casino paying for this. This is all in the house. I'm I'm stunned. I'm big time. I'm really big time. She said, um, what are you gonna do next? I said, I'm gonna go play a little bit more. I'm gonna win like 20 more thousand. <laughs> Cause I'm lucky. Clearly. And I feel good because that motherfucker starts to tingle. At this point, that motherfucker's tingling. That champagne. I'm I'm I said, first off, I'm gonna go get another twenty thousand. I said it like they was just gonna be sitting there waiting for me to get there and be like, "Here go your twenty thousand." They go like, I said it like that. Yeah, you. She said, "Are you sure you want to play on the bitch?" I'm not sure. I said, "Listen, I, I got this." You know, I'm a dealer. Can I say something real mm -hmm. quick? Uh, for any ladies that's out here that's working in the strip club, oh yeah, and uh, you dancing and you want to get off early mm -hmm. and s just make a night out of your night. Absolutely. Just let you know, you can give us a call three two three three two three three eight five nine seven. Three, four. We'll get somebody over there to you. Yeah, we I will get some. I promise we're going to get somebody no, over there to you. Keep going. So I'm in there and I said, you know, I'm going to go to this goddamn table. I went to the table. I said, I'm not going to be here long. I'm going to get my $20 fast. Yeah. Start off a $1,000 for him. I start off a $1,000 for him. I go back over to the table. I said, I ain't going to be here long. I'm going to start my money off right. I go in first. $1,000 for him. Bam. Get 11. You know anything about blackjack? Get 11. You. I don't give this is how I play. I play very aggressive. You split them. You split that. 11? First of all, you can't split 11, nigga. Uh, you That's split. A five and a six. How the fuck you. What casino no, you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, you split a five and a goddamn six and say, hey, man, let me start over. <laughs> well, I put another card on that five. They're putting on a six. No, 11, you're going to double down on 11. So Dup, yeah. I got $1,000 off. I got a five and a six. I don't care what the fuck the dealer got. I'm doubling on 11 because I'm an aggressive player. Yeah. Bam, I got $2,000. Bam, put my car face down. I don't want to see it. I'm one of them superstitious players. Put my shit face down. I don't want to see it. I'm playing two hand, double deck blackjack, pitch blackjack. Put my shit face down. I don't want to see it. Dealer turn over a card. Bam. Bam. Dealer has 20. I'm like, okay, 20. Turn over that motherfucking face card and let me celebrate in this bitch. Bam. Bitch turned over ace. 12. I said, ooh, fuck. 
Fuck down 2000. Fuck it. Bet 2000. She was like, You sure you want to do this bitch? Oh, uh, shit. Bam, to 2000. I was like, Bam, bro. Bam. Just give me another 11. Keep mind, I don't give a fuck what the dealer got. I'm doubling on that bitch. Come aggressive. Bam, she's like, Wow, you like you're really playing aggressive. I'm at this time, nigga, that ecstasy is deep in my system. Shit. I think I can remember anything. Mike fucking up. There you go. Good to go? At this point, the ecstasy is deep in my system. I think I can do any goddamn thing. I'm feeling good. Double down on that $2,000 double down. Yeah. All right. Put my shit face down. Bam. Did a turnover. Solid 20. My shit. Bam. Turnover. 3. 14. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost 6000 motherfucking dollars. Get out. I got $14,000 oh, motherfucking dollars. She said, hey, babe. How about we just go upstairs and like you know unwind for a little bit? I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Get out, one more hand, no bitch. One more hand. Five thousand. Four thousand. I played four thousand. I said, listen, I'm gonna either get eighteen or I'm gonna just be down this ten. Put the four thousand up. Shit. Bam. God. Twenty. I'm sitting on a twenty. Dealer got a face card up. I'm like, oh, okay, shit. The worst could happen. Shit, she probably wouldn't push. She look under that motherfucking mirror. Dealer has a blackjack. Bitch, where did you get it from? <laughs> oh, I'm sick. And I said, oh, God, that one hurt. She said, babe, let's go. Fuck it. Let's go. I'm walking. And this I'm way. hurt. Now, I feel mind. like I lost that 20 with you. I haven't seen my girl all day long. I've been at the strip club. And you had 20000 I've been gambling. I had $20,000. I'm on ecstasy. I'm fucking lit. I'm fucking gone. I'm going back up to this hotel room. I'm going to fuck the shit out of this woman. Some of it's going to be frustration. Some of it's going to be pleasure. Man, this is deep, dog. This is hurting me now. I'm going up there. I'm being this open. I can be this open because I'm single. Yeah, I know, man. It's Get up to my hotel room. We got the crystal in there. I said, get naked. Took off everything. and she did it all seductive. It was like, like I said, the devil. Like, how could this be so right? <laughs> so the fuck's taking off. And she's doing everything right. Music is playing big ass sweet. I'm sitting in this motherfucker like Tony Montana in the restaurant when he was fucked up at the end of the night. I got a big bottle of motherfucker. I ain't got nothing on but a motherfucking towel. <laughs> I got my motherfucking bottle in this motherfucker. You out there. You I'm in this motherfucker. I feel like a king, nigga. I still got 10000 You got 10000 I still got 10000 on me. And how much you went to the club with the But it's with? in chips. Oh. Oh. That's bad. Which means I got another good, a good chance of going back down there and playing some more. But I got 10 right now. So I'm sitting there, and she's just dancing. I'm just sitting there. She, and then I'm pouring on me. Nigga, I ain't I'm Steve. I'm Steve Francis is myself. Nigga, I'm, I'm Steve Francis myself. We be all night. Uh, I'm having a goddamn blast. Let me tell you how wild it was. Get a knock at the door. Bow, 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 bow. This is me. I'm big timing. Baby, go get that. I don't have no clothes. Exactly. Baby, go get that. <laughs> Walk over to the door. We, I forgot we had all the room service. I'm, I'm fucking on ecstasy, nigga. I'm ordering every goddamn thing. They coming in with the room service. This nigga is shocked. He said, he looking at this bad bitch. This nigga on the clock. <laughs> he seeing this shit on the clock. And, and he's seeing all his body. He's seeing it all. And she bad, nigga. She's bad. Let me describe her real quick. She's black and... That's enough. <laughs> and Korean. Korean. Long, beautiful hair. All her shit. Long, beautiful hair. Fake titties. Flat ass stomach. Hips. And a fake ass. The ass is fake. It was the first time I ever experienced a fake ass. But it didn't matter. It looked good. Yeah. If you look like this and you listen to this podcast, what can you do? give us a call. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you. I promise you. Yeah. We, we promise. We're going to get somebody. Hold in tight. So the goddamn uh, wait, waiter boy is in there, and he's shocked. Mm. Right? He walk in. He see it. He's like, uh, it's, I said, brother, come on in and close the door. I'm laying in the bed. I got my towel on. A bottle of crystal in my arms. I said, baby, stop. Turn around for him. Let him look at it. <laughs> he looking at it. 
I said, you like that? Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Fuck, man, you're lucky. Gosh, man. I said, yeah. Side that motherfucker. Gave that motherfucker a $100 tip. Bam. He said, man, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> I said, it's going to be the best day of mine, too, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. So we get out of there. We enjoy, we enjoying life. We enjoying life. I talked to this bitch for nine hours straight. Yeah, that did. The it. sun came up. You ain't never did that. Never. And then I said, let me go take a shower. It's like when I took a shower, I came to my senses. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Where am I? You've been up for nine. I looked at my phone. 37 missed calls. <laughs> I said, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You're done. Oh, my girl is going to fucking kill done. me. You're done. I'm going to die. You're done. Nigga, you know that feeling when you done fucked up and you just realized you fucked up? Oh, shit. What did I do? I'm mad at this bitch. I was like, what did you do? <laughs> Why? I'm mad at this bad bitch. What did you do? You did it. She was like, what do you mean? We had a great time. I was like, you ruined me. <laughs> Just got me talking like I'm on Knox Landing or some shit. You ruined, you ruined me. me. <laughs> she was like, no, we had a good time. Yeah, hey, she, yeah, hey, she, she had you fucked up. You she fucked your like, life up, boy. Fuck me up. That's what cocaine So I said, listen, I'm going back. You know, I, I'm going, I got to go talk to my girls. Yeah, right. Get there. My girl's like, you know, where the fuck you been? Clearly, where the fuck you been? I was like. I was cheating. She said, I knew it. I knew you was motherfucking cheating. Call a bitch right now. Tell a bitch the shit is over. Cool. Go through the shit. Hey, listen. The shit is over. This is what it was. It's a wrap. Bam. Cool. Now, as long as you tell me you ain't fuck with the bitch no more, we can move on. I ain't fuck with the bitch no more. Cool. Week go by. Every day I'm thinking about this bitch. <laughs> Every day I'm thinking about this bitch. Ah, oh, oh, shit. Whenever you make that promise, whenever you make that promise to say you're not going to fuck with oh. him no more, it's like it's like Satan's like, send more thoughts. I said, bro. Release the cracking of thoughts. It's out there, Billy. I say Every day, bro. And listen, I would look at her phone. She would call sometimes. Oh, oh so man. Hard. And she would leave up and say, hey, babe, I was just calling to tell you, you know, I miss you. And I know you said don't call, but I can't help but think about that night. I'm like, me too, bitch. Me too. Fuck. I'm out one night drinking. My phone ring. Her. It's her. Shit. Nigga, I answered that bitch on the first ring. Three. Hey! <laughs> Shit! What's up? Damn, I missed you. Yeah. Two, babe. Shit, where you at? Where are you? I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Let's meet halfway, bitch. However. Meet up. As soon as I see it, she said, I got that happy pill. I said, give it here. Bitch, <laughs> give it here. Take that motherfucker. Bam. Oh, nigga. Y'all back at it. Nigga, you like pick a crack right. at it. Nigga, we back at it like a crack at it, nigga. We in there. Having a good time. She said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do it, and we're going to stay at my place tonight. i never forget. I just bought a brand new phone. I was like, yeah, I took my phone out. I put that motherfucker phone. I was like, it was, a, it was a little, one of them, it was it was a bullshitter. It was, a, it was one of them, it was a bullshit, like a Samsung. It was an Android, whatever it was, Android. Mm. Sit down, fun. right? So... She was like, I'm going to pull my dog out and, you know, I'm going to take a shower. And by the time I get out of the shower, you should be ready. That means this pill going to be kicked in. So I'm like, cool. Nigga, I get that motherfucker, nigga. I'm in this motherfucker just dancing in that motherfucker. Nigga, ain't, ain't no music on, nigga. It's just me in that motherfucker. Having a, <laughs> having a blast nigga, up in that motherfucker. The dog looking at me like, this dumbass nigga. I mean, having a blast, nigga. Come out. We talk. We always talk. I don't know what it is about that goddamn drug that make your ass talk. Molly and X will make you talk and tell. Molly will make you have epiphanies about things you need to do with your life, nigga. Yes. It make you call people, that's, tell listen, them you love them. That's what, listen, let me sit there together. She said, I know you got a girl. I understand that. 
But look, we love each other. <laughs> this is our second time ever seeing each other. This is our second time. And, and it's all for, for you for you guys that's at home. I'm pausing the story. This is the true life of fucking with bad bitches. They always love you fast. <laughs> Quickly. I ain't never heard a bad one that took a long time because they know what they want. They've been turn, turning niggas down yeah, all dude. week, every day. <laughs> they going to tell you right off when they they know. They know. That's why she called you. Keep going, bro. Nigga. This is normal. Go ahead. She said, listen, this is what, this is what I want to do. Yeah. I want to be your lady. Mm. Now. She is putting herself. Talking, I was like, nigga, we talking. And I said, yeah, I want you to be my lady. Man, D, you got, D, please tell me you got an Instagram. <laughs> Can I just need I to? I had to disattach myself. When you tell, I just, tell you, oh, just hear me, hear me. So, she says, "Well, listen, I'm not gonna stop seeing you. I know you told me, I told you, I went along with it, but I can't. I need you in my life." And I was like, "I need you too. I've only seen her twice. <laughs> tell this bitch I need her." Right? We sat there, man. I mean, and I said, "She said, will you make love to me?" I said, "Absolutely. Yes." Nigga, we going at it. We going at it all night. I can go. You are a machine on that drug. A machine. Oh, fellas. A war a machine. Chance. If you get a chance or if you need that drug and you're trying to put that dick on a call it at 323. <laughs> we have five. Nine, Nine seven, seven, three, four. four. We'll get somebody over there to you. We'll get somebody over there to you. We'll get somebody over there to you. So we having a blast. Wake up, it's like 11 o'clock. Yeah. It's 11 o'clock. I said, oh my gosh. You done did it again? I did it again. <laughs> I said, why did you do this? She said, why do you always blame me? This is our love. I was like, you still on it? <laughs> I'm back, bitch, I'm back. What are you talking about love? Cause you, you come back, you be you back to yourself now. You And you, and, and you aggressive on pulling your life together. Aggressive. So I said, I'm out of here. I said, listen, we can't do this no more. She said, just listen, spend time with your girl. We'll talk about it later. I get back home. It's noon when I get home. My girl said, hey, what you want to do? Mm. Do you know how open that question is? What you want to do? What you want to do? I ain't seen her. I know what I've been doing. I don't know what she been doing. And she said, what you want to do? I'm like, what you talking about? Come on now. I'm like, this bitch ain't gonna give me no kind of goddamn clue either. Mm -mm. She said, listen, so you love that bitch, apparently. I was like, what you talking about? I'm stupid. She said, listen, where were you last night? I'm like, what you mean? I ain't had nothing. I just had nothing. My you just yelled. What you mean? She was like, look. Just tell me the truth. Were you with that bitch? I was like, man, come on. I ain't saying no. I ain't saying, you ain't saying shit. She said, let me just go and stop everything. Your phone, you need to learn how to work it. Because it was on the whole time. <laughs> Show me the motherfucker. It was still running 16 motherfucking hours. <laughs> this bitch kept the phone on for 16 motherfucking hours. She said, I heard everything, and the bitch got a dog. <laughs> oh. I said, you, I wanted to call the company. And say, so you motherfucker said, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I clearly, it's still running. So she's heard everything. So I said, she heard me tell that bitch I love her, and I need her. I'm like, oh, shit, here it come. So you love this bitch, and you need her? I said, I'm gonna have to open up to her. <laughs> I said, we gotta try this drug together. Listen, I promise you, this shit is amazing. I promise you, wait till, wait till you try it with me. Wait till you try this nothing. Listen, she got some extra ones. I'm going to go over there today and get, get some, some and bring them back to you. I did, I did that. I know it sounds like a joke, nigga. All my life, nigga, this happened. You gave the drug to your girl. Got it? Take it. I said, we're gonna take it at night. It's always good to take it at night. It was dark and shit. Took it. Mm. Then we sit there. We got a room. Sit there, and she was like, "Okay, cool, it's cool, it's whatever." 
Then after a while, she was like, what is it about this bitch? Oh, she got on that pill and yeah. got to ask me about that like, shit. Uh, I too. So the truth coming out. Ooh, ooh. She's just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you, such a hey, it's bad idea. <laughs> but here's the deal. She on the shit too, so she can respect my honesty. I understand. Is she, is she? I was like, yeah. She said, what is it about her? I said, we just had the best conversations. Not like ours. Like our stuff is like, you know what I mean? You know, she could never replace you, but it was just like, it's just, and she said, you know what? I don't like this shit. It's like her pills started changing. Like her pills started reversing. She was like, call that bitch right now. <laughs> Tell that bitch it's over. I was like, we were supposed to be happy. She had stories together. No, nah, no. Nah. Nigga, I got to call this motherfucker. It can, it can roll like that, bro. Nigga, watch this. Get on the phone. On the phone, right? She said, no, put it on speaker. I'm like, oh, fuck, bitch. Ugh, but I feel good. <laughs> I ain't that mad. I kind of feel good. I think it's going to go all right for me. So I get it. And I'm, nigga, I'm mollied up, nigga. My girl mollied up. Call. I don't mind this phone call. Ring. Hey, babe, I just popped one. Oh, my gosh. You did too? Ooh, bitch, you better sit down for this. <laughs> I said, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, my girl's right here. And I just told her that, you know, what happened, and it's over. I said, listen, this is it. She said, listen, maybe we should all just get together. God damn it. She's a, hey, listen, time out. And that's, and, and that for those of you listening at home, <laughs> that is always what you do. Mm -hmm. I don't care. That's how you resolve it. That is the way out. That was it. Because there is no way out once it get like that. You got to you let face them to face. face it. Everybody face to face. And, and deal with this in real life action. And she got to see it. And she got to see it. She was got me going wild. Because like when they see it, they could be like, okay, this bitch bad. I'm, I'm tripping. So I said, all right, cool. Let's do it. So now we all on three, we're all on, she's on speakerphone and we talk and it's just a general conversation. He was like, yeah, so um, when did you guys take your pill? He was like, oh, like 45 minutes ago. She was like, girl, how do you feel? I mean, I feel good. I feel good. She was like, I feel great, girl. Just give it some more minutes and we'll be on the same level. Right, D? I was like, yeah. All of us, we just vibing, right? I'm like, oh, shit, nigga, this is dope. I said, listen, we'll talk to you tomorrow. We can meet up tomorrow. Cool? Cool. Hey, girl, have a good night, girl. Okay, girl, bye. Nigga, we, have a, we stay up all night, talking all night. Morning light. Get up. Fucking head hurt. Fucking hung. I don't know what the fuck I feel. It's just a horrible drain. Come down. It's horrible. Yeah, it's bad. The inner side of my cheek is fucking chew up. I've been chewing on my fucking jaw all fucking night. I'm like, God damn. So I was like, uh You out of there, bro. So babe. So today we gonna meet with a girl? I'm not meeting with that bitch. <laughs> Ooh, I knew it. I, I knew. You just told. You, yeah, you thought I'm it. I'm not meeting with that bitch. That's your bitch. That's that's. It. I'm like, you know what? I gotta stop this because it was becoming too. It was it was too easy to fall into. So I gotta cut her off. I had to cut her off, dog. Literally erase her number and forget it. She was that bad, but it was the drugs that took me under. That was a long ass story, but. Listen. I opened up. Fuck it. You work overnight? I say, he said, yeah, I'll be here by myself. Nobody else be here. I'm the only person patrol. I got one other person with me from two to six. There's nobody else here. Fuck it. We gonna have a party in this bitch. <laughs> now, my party and my homeboy's party is different. I'm thinking six, eight people. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. It's sexy. Everybody got a room to go in. We finna do what we gonna do. We legends. It's cool. We legends. I tell Davin. Davin Tesno says, I gotta see it. I said, nah, Davin, you can't see it. He said, nah, fuck it. We going up there. He get drunk off Paul Masson. We go up there. Daytime, he asked, where Energizer at? Where my nigga at? I say, bro, I don't think you can do that. Fuck that. That's my nigga. I've been knowing that nigga since fourth grade. I say, bro, you tripping. Jaza come at. He acting like he don't know us. 
He got his uniform on. Hey, gentlemen, what's going on? <laughs> so in the middle of it, <laughs> he, he looking at me talking about 1275, don't fuck this up. Yeah. So David talking about, nigga, you know us, don't act like oh, that. Sh- I said, oh. So Dav- Davin was like, please, man, show us the room. Energizer, look at me. You could not tell him, huh? I said, man, he was going to invite the girls for the party. He got to know what, what space we need so we can do the shit the right way. We go up there. He like, nah, nigga, nah. Nigga, fuck that. We doing it for the mo. <laughs> By saying that, he's saying we're doing it for the neighborhood. Right. Mo the City. neighborhood just ain't where we live at. It's other neighborhoods around it. It's six high schools in Mo City <laughs> that's zoned to this area. So you doing it for six schools? He calling everybody. Niggas that ain't graduated yet. <laughs> niggas that ain't doing shit. Niggas that work at AutoZone. My nigga, my nigga Chris Rojas, he, he work at AutoZone on Court Road. He, <laughs> he, he the parts manager. I know when he got that call. He, hello, AutoZone, Court Road. What's he the up? parts manager called him. Hey, bro, hey, hey. Can I, let me call him because he had to hook up on the liquor and he had a van. He could pick bitches up. Right. So he was like, hey, bro, we got a party spot. I can't tell you too much about it. Just get ready. Just get ready now. Go ahead, get ready. He said, man, I got to work tomorrow. He said, fuck that. We doing that shit tonight. Cisco, get ready. Click. He hung up with him. I maybe, because I started drinking Paul with him, we fucked up to about 345. Right. We didn't call 60 people. <laughs> 60 fucking people. We doing this shit tonight. We was fucking some twins from Texas a and I'm not going to put their names out. They start with T. You know who they are. <laughs> yeah, you know who they are. It don't matter. You listen to this. You just happen to find out your wife was fucking. And I'm going to tell you what she did in a minute. So, uh, at this time, I'm not in the frat yet. I'm going to become a capital. Like, that's my goal. So, we start inviting niggas we know from the mo. Of course, I know not to invite none of the bros, the capitals, because I'm not like, trying to be in that situation. Right. to get weird. The niggas get to ask me to do shit. Right. I'm trying to let my life sh- light shine right now. Right. Let me live. He calls my nigga C. Lou. C. Lou, Chris Lewis. He went to Elkins. He calls Chris Lewis up. He acting like this nigga his fucking brother. Because first of all, that's how David is. Everybody his brother, like, by no relation. Right. But that's their brother. Hey, hey, Newt. We going, we partying. Now, let me explain something to you. What's very critical about this. Davin ain't a capital. <laughs> <laughs> but he feels t- that he can call niggas Noop, Q. I've seen this nigga step with some Qs in a party and shimmy. I've, nigga, I've been literally same party. And I, I've been, I've been sh- to shimmy in the same. Listen, and nobody beat him up because it's Davin. Who is describing to me? Dog, nah, this nigga. I, it's hard to explain. He little light skin. Miniature Billy. Miniature Billy. A little, a smaller me. Right. Look, dog, and this nigga don't give a fuck. And he get to drink anything. He can whoop you everybody. Okay, he that do okay. I got you. I he got think you. he can whoop everybody. He don't give a fuck. He don't give so a fuck. So he's like, okay, do I want to fight this nigga tonight over this shit? It's not because you, you laughing because you know you can beat him up. But then right. he's like, you don't want to feel like you just don't feel like fighting this nigga tonight. I don't want to fucking deal with this shit. Right. He go. He he gonna fight you. So. He wanted to pesky kid motherfuckers. You punch his nigga, knock him out. He, he wake the fuck back up, still want to fight. Right. And, you just and drunk. Him. And then everybody, why'd you beat up Dad? <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> exactly. You look crazy beat him up. So he didn't invite C. Lou. C. Lou invites the whole fucking chapter of Capas that I go to school with. So I don't know shit about this, though. I'm in there. I'm having a good time. I got my robe on. I'm Hugh Heffin it. I'm Big Willie and shit. I got it's girls coming in. My nigga Energizer, he got his work uniform. He coming by patrolling. He making sure shit is straight. He keep leaving. He like, yeah, nigga, save some bitches for me. Save some bitches for me. Yeah, nigga, you ain't here. You need to come back. So, shit popping off. I stands up on top of this, uh, like, end table. That's got to be 100 years old. Antique. I'm standing on this motherfucker and I'm yelling, hey, look. These the motherfucking rules. I'm lit. Right. As fate would have it. There's ecstasy flowing in the room. Oh, more ecstasy. More ecstasy. One of our partners, C. Mo, Chris Morrison, he gets so fucked up during the daytime. 
somebody thinks it's a good idea to leave him on the patio passed out drunk he wakes up and damn near jumps over the banister and kills himself he, he, cut, fuck was at. he didn't know where he was at so just imagine you pass you out drunk up, and, and you I wake up, up on balcony. and you on a fucking balcony 12 stories up above the city and it's blowing wind blowing so he's screaming and got locked on the balcony I'm telling everybody the rules like hey look if you gonna fuck we got condoms <laughs> <laughs> it, <laughs> hey look if you don't want to use no condoms that's on you I'm not I'm letting it be known <laughs> Uh, don't steal shit, nigga. If you steal something, we gonna fight you. Hey man, ain't no handcuffing in here. And no me, no. Now how many women in here? How many women in here? Man, it's, it's 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 at this time, sixty people have been invited. Twenty eight dudes, forty girls, and That's they flowing in. That's good numbers. Davin done told them it's a lingerie party, so women is coming in this bitch. In nothing. All fucked up. Now word done got out because niggas had sidekicks then. They mass messaging niggas on kick and aim. It's going all around. Lingerie Playboy party in the penthouse. <laughs> <coughs> so the cap would show up out of nowhere. I'm like, oh, shit. my chances of now getting pussy is declined. Mm -hmm. These niggas done showed up, but they was on school shit. C Lou was like, yo, Bill, you got a good look in here. This good. The bros want to have a good time, but we need liquor. We need hoes. Where they at? Niggas start trying to scrape you for you, you bitches. And it, I mean, it, and I mean that in the most non-derogatory sense about these women. I know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. They want to know who came to the party and where they at. And you got to show them. You got the intent. I know, cause I invite you. You have the intent. So now, instead of your homeboys thinking you that nigga from the hood, you got to tell them niggas to move away and then pass. So we doing that. So now I'm I'm directing, I'm I'm showing what's happening, I'm going room to room. I, we got a little shit going. I'm orchestrating, I'm passing out shots. Have, have you I taken a Molly yet? Ex Ecstasy. Have you taken it yet? No. Okay. We're at about this time, maybe three o'clock. Okay. It's thick. It's eight a.m. Three a.m. Okay. All I hear it's is tomorrow. Basically, gotcha. it's the next day. Something plays on that main. CD player. It's an Iowa CD player. A-I-W-A. Never forget it. I bought it for $99 from Best Buy. Blue face. And all I could see was track 12. Okay. And it was doom, 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 And it was just like Eyes was leaking up. Niggas was like, "This it." And at that moment, I saw the party elevate. It's hot. Here comes Davin pushing through the crowd. <laughs> what he got in his hand? He got a. He got a. He he got an X pill in his hand. He's slamming his hoe in my face, and my mouth just happens to open up. Throws this X pill into my, my mouth, and it's just like from that moment, the rest of the party was just slow motion groove right. one girl had a negligee on she pulls this motherfucker up and i could see so much ass I'm like, <laughs> when is her ass gonna stop <laughs> going because i ain't got to the top of it yet it's just so much ass it's like she kept pulling it up and she's a bitch was on her back and it was just that much ass out right. and she pulled that thong down and it was just it was just nuts after that dog niggas was screaming it's crazy so we we in it Oh, niggas getting head in the shower. It's people fucking. It's it's crazy. It's it's like a Luke party, but in the late two at mid two thousand. Right. So I'm I'm losing it. I'm like, okay, cool. The twins tower. I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's out there now. Uh, the the twins that started with a T. Uh, <laughs> they down here. TNT. TNT. Then it, then it came down. I put one T in the room. I'm in the circus room. Right. I show them the I show them the room that's got the tars and shit in it. They looking around. It's cool. We go in the circus room, and this woman crawls into this cage, pulls her drawers down, and got her naked ass exposed. And she says, "Fuck me like I'm a tiger." That point. I yell, get out. Everybody. 
everybody out. I need it. I don't know why I'm a hard already. Because you got a tiger fucker. That's why you hard. So you got am, the tiger fucker. I am fucking her and getting gouged in the chest with a lock. <laughs> There's a lock on this cage that doesn't come off. Because the the, the cage is made out of uh, uh, elastic wiring mm -hmm. that stretches. So you can get in there and out of there. She in there and I am fucking her in this cage. To no avail. Sounds like you're wrong. Oh, sounds like you're wrong. Definitely okay, wrong. Okay, so I want to get that out. There. I'm just let you know that right now. I, I, I just want. I Gavin, feel, but, Gavin, but listen, listen, listen. I'm with you. I'm with you. That, 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 I'm with you. I don't agree, <laughs> but I'm with you because I can see myself in a position like that. I'm like, God damn, it's in. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. And and Davin made the suggestion, in which he did. He decided that he was going to tape condoms to his dick. <laughs> he took. Some black Devin tape. Devin is a wild ass boy. He said, "He said I don't need no kids. I can't risk it. I got shit I want to do." He put a condom on his dick and taped the <laughs> the edge down. He said, "If I'm a fuck, what kind of tape? Black electrical tape." So, no homo. Any letter? Remember that black electric tape on top of a condom. On top of a condom on his dick. Who gonna let that in them? Just it's cool. Just keep that right there. Okay. So I'm fucking one of the twins. Okay. Going at it. Going at it. Niggas opening the door, being childish. That nigga Bill going to work. Hey nigga, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so at this point, I'm I don't need no help. I'm doing damage. This girl is yelling. It's so much dick in me. It's so much. It's so much dick. And I'm like, yeah, it is, ain't it? It's a lot of dick in there, ain't it? I'm talking shit. I'm smacking ass through this cage. So, so through the door comes a silhouette of a body. All I see is a towel floating in the air. White towel. Who is it? Davin. Davin got no pants on and a white towel over his arm. He got the tape on the dick. Wait. He got a silver tray with two glasses of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about drink for the lady. Drink for you, sir. <laughs> so I'm fucking and I'm trying my best. Not to look at this nigga. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, he hands me some champagne that's lukewarm. I don't want. I'm, I take the champagne. I'm trying not to look. Now she's yelling out this elastic wire of the cage. I can't take this. He's screaming. <laughs> Davin says, drink for the lady. She says, yes, I need. And she reaches her hand out. And he lets the drink fall and pushes his dick towards her face. I'm like, Davin, this nigga is ruining the moment. So, so, so look, I'm like, ah, oh, this nigga tripping. Right, I gotta hurry up and get out of here. This nigga tripping. So, I'm thinking she gonna freak out. She's like, get more champagne. Oh my god, she got this nigga dick in hand. So, Davin's lit. He now is elbowing and hitting me. To move so he Put can fuck. Dick in, right? Yeah, because he he not he not take. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Chill He's out. Sticking on the shit on his dick. <laughs> Listen, at this point, the duck, the black electric tape is cut this fucking circulation off. <laughs> it's like a cramped hose of blood <laughs> building up. All this little tape and then the rest of his dick. I'm like, bruh, you 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 gonna fuck around? He's like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. So C. Lou comes in. C. Lou says, Davin, get your weird ass out of here before I slap the shit out of you. You ain't going to whoop me. He slaps Davin in the chest. And then Davin was like, all right, and walks out. <laughs> Behind C. Lou is the sister to the girl that I'm fucking. He lays her on the bed. They start fucking. So I'm like, I got to get out of here. I'm done. This is cool. We got these sisters yelling in here. 
Capitals is coming in looking like, yo, yo boy's going in and uh, they go back out. This girl screaming. She's still having a good time. She's like, oh, we got more. Now it's the sound off. It's like, I can't let you outshine me. Now it's fucked up. I started before you came in here, but I can't let you see me finish before you do. That's my thing. Because I'm taking it as a personal challenge. You done entered into the lion's den. I got a tiger in the cage. You're in the streets now, man. Yeah, I'm, man. In sh I'm, I'm putting in work. I'm doing some some <laughs> some e Honda right now. Oof, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm going in. So I start. I was like, God. You know how you be fucking and you smell something? I was like, God, God damn. What the fuck is that? I was like, smells like butt and I don't know whose butt it is they got some motion going on at this table it's like somebody shit it today but it's definitely in the air it's weird for me I gotta get out of here cause it's butt in the air butt in the air get out of there boom blow that load I like fu I said fuck it I'm done I roll out. I said, baby, you want to get out of here? She was like, yeah, let's just go. Let's get some food. All right, cool. As I'm walking out, Davin <laughs> is laying in the floor the whole time in the darkness. No way. Grabs my leg like a walking dead zombie. I said, get your little bitch. Out. I kick this nigga and get out of there. I leave him in there with CeeLo and another chick. I go back to the party. I go in there. Niggas is passed out. A pool of vomit is on the floor. Niggas have thrown up in the moat in the castle room. I go in the room in here in the other room where the zombies at. It's some hood niggas fucking a white girl in this tree. I said, bruh, <laughs> y'all know where this what random fucking what is this? Listen, where did this white girl come from? Because see, at this time... Why the tree? First of all, where the white girl come from? <laughs> we don't know no white girls like yeah. that, dog. It's only one white girl we knew in most city, Kelly Bub, and she was the known white girl that was dealt with niggas in, in, in most city. Nigga, where did this white girl come from? I'm freaking out because I'm trying to figure out where this white girl came from. I'm not racist. I just don't need no problem with the police. Yeah. We in the middle of Texas, a bunch of niggas. These hood niggas, obviously, they talking so reckless to this white woman. I, ma'am, are you okay? <laughs> oh, I just, oh God, I'm like, all right, you know what? I gotta get out of here, cause they are, they are fucking her like she don't know her father. <laughs> and judging by her appearance, she looks like she know her father very well. So I'll close the door. I leave out of there. I go back into the kitchen, niggas is taking shots. Davin comes strolling his ass out. Okay, who wants it? Dicks for dicks for sale. Who's gonna get it? And this is a mixed room. It's niggas and women here. This nigga is super drunk. He says this shit to some dude I don't know. Dude's like, hey man, get your gay ass on. That nigga Davin says, I knock your bitch ass out, nigga. In my draws. <laughs> I say, all right, he drunk. Let me step in. Hey, bro, chill. That nigga good. You good? I'm trying to get the dude to chill with good. No, no, no. These old pussy ass capper niggas in here done got beside himself. <laughs> Why he say that? For I know it. Niggas done stole on this nigga. Now he getting stomped. He getting stomped out. And he getting stomped out by the most unsuspecting people. It's the married niggas that's done showed up to kick it with the, the graduate bros. It's so many square toes on this nigga, cause that's what was in square, square toes. Right, right. It's square toes all on this nigga chin. They, they is kicking the shit out this nigga. They kick this nigga out the room, down the hallway, energize it, grab him, and take him out. And I'm like, Davin, bro, you got to cheat. Now nah, they put that nigga didn't want it with me. I was like, bro, you drunk and you tripping. I, I knock you out. I was like, bro, I'm not doing this with you. So I go and lock this nigga in the suite. I tell him there's some girls in the suite. I lock him in there, leave the room. I'm fucked up, D. I'm just, this ex done hit me. Lit. I'm, starting, I'm having epiphanies. It's, it's chicks everywhere. Shit's going bonkers. I go back to the circus room. 
I'm walking and no lie, it smelled like the devil's asshole. <laughs> Shit hit my nose so hard. I said, what the fuck is that? I flipped the lights on to flip all the lights on. This bed is so bloody and brown. I damn near throw up in my mouth. I'm like, oh shit. What the fuck? Nigga. I guess old girl either caught her period or somebody didn't wipe good. But this white comforter is fucked up. <laughs> Ain't no putting this back. Like we wasn't there. Right. And this is a party foul. Yeah, somebody, yeah, yeah, somebody gotta pay for this, this shit. Fuck this whole room. Yeah, somebody up. gotta pay for this shit. Somebody gonna pay for this. So I grab the comforter, throw one in, throw another in, roll it up, and I'm running with a shitty comfort. <laughs> shitty period comfort. Possibly. Don't know. Running down the hallway. Bad chick. She was a cheerleader at TSU. She grabbed my arm. She's like, where are you going? You're not leaving. I've been looking for you all night. And for those of you that are frat boys or party dudes, when a girl says she's been looking for you all night, she's telling you, I came here to fuck with you. And if I leave empty-handed, mission is not accomplished. So I'm like, okay, I got to take this downstairs. What's wrong? What's in the comforter? What's wrong with it? <laughs> Where'd you get it from? I said, I, <laughs> I, I found it in the room. Well, what's wrong? It can't be that bad. I know she's pulling the comforter. Pulling this comforter until she rips it from under me and exposes this motherfucker to the middle of the room. I'm looking and everybody's like, uh, <laughs> a hood nigga hollers out, oh, this nigga tripping. <laughs> All this nigga fucking hoes on their period. Bill out here wildin'. I'm nah. This was in the room. I'm trying to take it downstairs. She was like, you didn't do this, did you? I'm like, no, I didn't. Who comes out of nowhere? Twin. Twin comes up. Tongue kisses me in the mouth. Shitty comforter with whatever on it. Cheerily the girl that I've been wanting to get to. Room full of people. Now we public display. She full on tonguing. Bill says, no, nah, no, nah, you kissing her back and you doing whatever she want. She done pulled my pants down. We full on on the dance floor bumping and grinding in front of everybody. Chili the girl is watching her dreams fade away. <laughs> but it's a part of her that won't leave the room. So now I'm making eye contact with her while I'm banging a chick on a dance floor with a robe on and some silk pants I got from J.C. Penney's. <laughs> Energizer comes in. What the fuck? <laughs> Who fucked up the comforter? Davin. <laughs> I holler out Davin. I'ma whoop him. I'm like, nah, you can't. Just get the comforter out of here. He get the comforter out of here. Party dies down. People fucked up. And the sun is coming up. And that's when my nigga Simo, who I told you about, is on this patio, wakes up and is banging on this glass trying to get back in. We dying laughing because he don't know where he at. And he throwing up over this balcony. We let him in. He crying. He don't know what's going on. He disoriented. He popped a handlebar on top of the drinking he did and smoked a bunch of weed. So he mad. Everybody's trying to figure out what's going on. I'm still wide the fuck awake. And who comes out after breaking the door off the hinges? Damn it. <laughs> 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 he broke the door. He broke this sliding door because I could lock it. It was a Chinese sliding door. I could lock it. He broke that door open and his dick was hard with this tape on it, with this condom on it. And he's like, I, he's yelling at girls, I got to get it out. I got to get it out. Look, get it. Just do something. This nigga is wild. Listen. We out here, niggas from the hood is like, yo, they're my niggas, but they a little different. <laughs> it's it's crazy, nigga. It's crazy shit happening in this environment, dog. 
and we go down in history for the next like four years as them niggas. Now, mind you, a year and a half later, I get online, pledge Kappa. We come back two years later and throw a penthouse party for my graduation party to kind of send me off for the shit that happened this epic night. We get this party that we have 2,000 people show up to. We tell everybody penthouse party after this. We passing out little, little like cut out business cards with address to girls. We get 300 people up there. It's fucking nuts. One of I get a girl pregnant. Energizer get a girl pregnant. He end up having a kid from this night. I end up potentially having a kid from this night. The girl I was fucking with that went to U of H, she ended up having a miscarriage like three months into being pregnant. Nigga, it's crazy. A dude met his wife there. <laughs> People full on living their lives together now. Hey, man, thank y'all for watching the Did You Miss Me podcast, man. We really sure. appreciate y'all, man. Everybody here, from me to Billy to Side Mode to Ernest, man. Thank y'all for watching. We got plenty of stuff that's cooking for y'all, man. We want to let y'all know where to find more things about Did You Miss Me podcast. Hey, man, click the subscribe button up top, man. Make sure you follow us on all social media. We on Instagram. Hit us up, D-Y-M-M. Yeah, hit us there. Podcast. That's it. Yeah, we in there. You got to yeah. follow us. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Man, let us know what your favorite stories are. Damn. We here. And now, don't and don't forget to give number. us a call. Get the number, man. Don't you ever forget it. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you.